What is up guys, welcome back to a player review that so many of you have requested. We are going to be looking at Inform Yaya Torre in the central midfielder role and in a 4-3-2-1 formation. So how does he play? Is he any good? Should you purchase him? Is he the best central defensive midfielder you can play in this game? We are going to find out. If you guys are looking for a cheaper level, please to get your coin. Check out battlelay.com. Their link will be in the description. Use the code Itani to get 5% off. Now, for a central defensive midfielder, I feel anyone above 60 pace should be good enough. I mean, you won't really need that much speed for a central defensive midfielder. But with Yaya Torre, you get a bonus pace attribute. I mean, look at how much pace this guy has. It is pretty fast for me. Now, many of you wanted me to try him out as a center attack midfielder or a striker. But that would never work out because of his work rates high defensive work rate and medium attacking work rate so his ideal positions would have to be somewhere in the central of midfield or a central defensive midfield in a 4-1-2-1-2 formation or a 4-3-2-1 or 4-3-3 three, three, and so on and so forth so decent dribbler to begin with this guy is very strong and a tall player so I would expect him to be not that agile but to my surprise he has some pretty good agility and he could turn very quickly and get past strikers defenders and just bully every fucking player on the pitch and also what was amazing about him is his awesome interceptions not only in midfield but other well elsewhere on the pitch as well because this guy was everywhere everywhere like some Sometimes when I'm getting a counter-attack, um, this guy is up front helping me get in a counter-attack. And sometimes when I need to defend the counter-attack, this guy is helping me out defend it. This guy is everywhere when you need him for an emergency. Also, when you're taking corners, you can take corners with him. He's going to score you goals from crosses. And also, he will be in the penalty area to head it into the back of the net as well. This guy is just simply everywhere, and that's exactly what you need. Now, he does certainly get tired, but if you always use a fitness card on him every two games, it shouldn't be up problem he's also got a very powerful shot on him and you will definitely score some long shots with him if you're good at them shooting them to the far post now he has four star weak foot but three star skills but then again if you don't mind that three star skills this guy could be a 10 out of 10 for you but if you do maybe minus a couple of points there he's a very good finisher in the penalty area so you won't have any trouble finishing with him if he if you get to the penalty area with him because this guy can go on runs just like in real life and just smack into the back of the net or even set up your striker this guy could run forward and just I don't know he just forces what uh, his way into the penalty area and no one can basically stop him he's very strong and he has really high aggression so make sure you try this guy out if you have the coinage probably the best central defensive midfielder you could play in this game better than Vidal definitely better than many central defensive midfielders I have tried and I have tried the best ones this guy has to go down as the best central defensive midfielder in this game he has everything you need probably the most balanced and probably the most complete central defensive midfielder you can have in this game so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did I'd really appreciate a like let me know in the comment section below who you want me to review next in this team of the week and I hope you guys have a very nice day